Good afternoon everyone, this is Saturday the 5th of January, Barry Beer with you this afternoon and welcome along to you. Here's my offside and good afternoon. Good afternoon Ben, good afternoon viewers. Bit hot today. But a suddenly change will hopefully cool things down for the cricket is up to Sydney cricket ground today and this is the night of the Glen McGrath day here's my offside yep it's for raising money for breast cancer down so it's a good cause anyone can get out there or donate please do but I can't give you the number on the show sorry about that pills uh, you can look up on the website how you can donate and that's uh, about all the information I can give to you on that. Well, did that, well last night on the show we talked, talked about school lunchbox idea the year and the head my offside. Yep, good time of year to talk about school lunch boxes. Being healthy, Dan. Right, well, make sure your child has a good, sturdy lunch box. Here's my offside. Yep, good plastic or metal lunch box. One that can be carried easily and strong. And also encourage your child to eat their lunch as well, especially the fruit. Here's my offside. What's good fruit for lunchbox, Barry? A pear or a um, tub of two fruits. Here's my offside. Or an apple? Or a banana? Because an apple a day, as the saying goes, it keeps the doctor away. Here's my offside. Or a pair a day can keep the doctor away. Or a pair can keep you regular. It does too. Like the apple. Yes, that's probably why it keeps the doctor away. Today marks the anniversary of the collapse of the Tadman Bridge. On Sunday night, the 5th of January 1975, Lake Illawarra struck in Tadman Bridge. What a mess in my offside. Yep, it destroyed the bridge and some people went off the bridge and died and some people on the boat died as well. Terrible tragedy in Tasmania. So, it's been 44 years to the day this accident happened. Now, a couple were driving home in their new Holden Monaro when the accident happened at about 20 minutes past 9 or 27 minutes past 9 and they had to stop otherwise they would have gone splat. Another car was a Holden station wagon also teetering on the end of the broken bridge in my offside. Yep, there could have been some more tragedies that night. I was just lucky those people stopped when they did. So, so, 44 years on. Well, it's coming to the end of the holidays for some people, and then I said last night, Back to work with some of us on ma Monday and here's my offside. What should people do to get ready to get back to work, Barry? Prepare their lunch boxes and their equipment. Make sure they've got everything prepared. Here's my offside. And their work clothes. You've got to get a suit, get a dry clean. And or your work uniforms, get them washed and dry and make sure that you sleep well on Sunday night. Yes. Here's my offside. Ready for a big day on Monday. 
What well, saved me is whether the day will be was a sunny morning but cloudy starting to build and we could get a cool shovel and change with some light rain to get my oxide in. Yeah, hopefully the cool change comes soon, Barry. It was getting way too hot. And also drink plenty of fluid today. In my oxide. Yep, keep your fluids up, Barry, and what should you do if you get dehydrated? Hydrolyte, and if uh, dehydration is serious, call triple zero. Speaking of triple zero, never ring that number unless you've got an emergency. We always say this on the show, in my oxide. Yep, triple zeros are there for emergency use only, for ambulance, police, or fire brigade. And, like we said, if you need to call an ambulance if someone is unconscious, make sure you tell the person that is about to bring triple zero to come straight back. Here's my oxide. That's right, Aaron. Make sure you get them all the information they need on triple zero, otherwise they can go to the wrong place. And make sure that if you are calling an ambulance from your home at night, have a front light on so that the ambulance know that there is somebody home. Here's my oxide. Yep, try and wait out the front if it's night time so they don't miss you. And Flag the ambulance down on the street if necessary. So, what would you do if, in preparing me for an ambulance check? Uh, I'd make sure you're resting on the bed or in your wheelchair, your proper clothes on, and your book, any medication, and some clothes. Packed. Change of clothes just in case. And so and, uh, and my hospital file. Yep. So that's what you ne we need to do here. So where would the ambulance come to when they I are think they'll come around the back then. The, the back, back driver. Or the side. Yep, or the side. Because that's where it came to once when we when I went up yep. outside our dining room here. Yeah. And you assisted me on that day. That's right, Baron. And and that you, was good. The ambulance got it on time. And you brought me back in the beta. Yep. You're okay. They fixed you up. We hope that you have enjoyed our first Saturday wrap for 2019 and here's my offside. Yep, plenty more programs to come in 2019. Should be a big year. And tomorrow the first Sunday wrap kicks off and here is my offside to tell you about the upcoming program tomorrow night. We're going to have recipes, we're going to have safety advice, we're going to have weather reports, and the things that are happening around the community. So, just a reminder too that we will be doing this show live in March when we go and see the Bee Gees tribute. Saturday Night Fever. Here's my offside and for that. Staying alive, staying alive. Well, if you get dressed up for that, Dan? Yep, we sure will. So, it's not fun for another couple of months yet, but it is coming up. So, we will be leaving here the studio at 12 noon and we'll be on the road. And we'll be broadcasting live from the city, so we hope that you will join us then on that occasion. 
and, and it's coming up towards the end of March. So, so, so I, a couple of months from now, and then here's my offside. Yep, we're going to have a fun night, Barry. Maybe you could put a wig on and change the name to Barry Giff. Yeah. Very good. So, we hope that you will join us tomorrow for our first Sunday wrap of the year, kicking off at 7 o'clock. And here's my offside, everybody. Yep. Another big day tomorrow, Barry. Sunday 6th. 6th of January, yes, and 2019. And, and like I said, if you have not got an emergency, please do not bring that number. Triple zero. What should you do if you see a bushfire there? Call triple zero or a car accident or su suspicious activity and against my offside. Yep, bad weather for bushfires today. So if anyone sees a bushfire, report it straight away, give the location, and if you see anyone suspicious, make sure you give details of them. And also, don't let your dog out with a cat. It'd be dangerous. Because a man was bitten yesterday by a cat, so I was told last night. And they ended up in hospital overnight. So hopefully they're all right, Ben. So, so cat versus dog, uh uh. And cat versus patients, uh uh. And if you see a snake bite or someone being bitten by a wasp, what should you do? You wrap it up. All ambulance. Now, before I go today, please swim between the red and yellow flags. And here's my offside. Yep, it's the safest thing to do. You go swimming outside the flags, the lifesavers won't see you. And you they won't even know you are there. Won't even know you're there. You can drown and nobody would know. So, we hope that you will join us then for a, a Sunday wrap and again we'll be talking about healthy food for work and school lunches and for those still on the holidays, enjoy. Here's my offside. Yep, enjoy your back to work week next week. Get prepared this weekend. Everything will go fine. And we'll be talking about how to get your child ready for school too. So that's all coming up tomorrow on the first Sunday wrap of the year. So I'm off now to get myself ready for the evening. And thank you so much for your company today on the show. And here's my offside. And yep. so Thank you everyone for joining us. Have a safe weekend. See you next time. And remember, don't throw tantrums. Here's my offside. No point acting like a spoiled toddler. If you've got a problem, just talk about it. And the way it has been, Barry Fitt saying good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, everyone.